not before I pour it, because otherwise it's full of bubbles, but after. And make it nice, cold and soapy and wet. And the object that you're going to cast into or over can be cold, has to be soapy and cold and wet. So if it's the bark of a tree, a stone wall, or if it's an object that you're completely enclosing in silicon to make a mould, it's got to be cold and wet. Because it's cold and wet that sets the silicon the opposite of almost everything else that sets in hot dry. So you've got your hands nice and soapy and wet. And you've got silicon sealant in a silicon gun and it can be transparent or anything but it's got to be silicon if it says anything else cheap sealant no use it's got to be silicon sealant right so you pump it into the water and it's like spaghetti if you touch this now it's really sticky and it'll stick to absolutely anything but if you pump it into the water and leave it to set a bit, it starts to go like putty. And it's very malleable and you can do anything with it. So I'm just pumping about half a tube full in. And do the other half later. So hands soapy and wet. Start to gather it up into a ball. Don't stick your hands in the middle because it's all sticky. Handle it like it's dough if anybody does baking. And try to gather it up. Once it starts to stick to your fingers, you've really had it because it'll stick to itself like crazy. So. But if you are making a mould with it, that's an asset because you can just... You know, if you're not finished or you run out, you just go out and buy more sealant the next day and add it on and it just sticks. So now it's like putty. And it's starting to set. And you can apply it to anything. And this is your mould material. You can make a complete mould, let it set, cut it open with a knife, pin it back together with dress pins, seal it with silicon and you've got a mould. In this case we're going to use it as a casting material. So I'm going to make a skin of it on the inside of this plaster mould. So I don't know how thick you want it. Do you want it fairly solid or...? I think it'll be a bit floppy, but um, we can always add more. So the transparent is quite nice because you can see how thick you're making it. Um, so we'll pump some more in. Probably we'll need all this, won't we? Cheapest place to get it is Group Fix Catalog. <laughs> And it is a very cheap mold material in comparison to other things you could use. And readily available. So if you make a mold of it, what kind of cast materials could you use? You can cast almost anything into it. Wax, as long as it's fairly cool, not too hot. Um, resin, plaster, concrete, chocolate. Anything really? <laughs> What's the advantage then of making the soap? No. Is it is it soap? Mm. It's flexible, oh, yeah. yeah. It's so it would be the equivalent of gel flex, but you wouldn't have to make a mould because okay. you can just apply it directly to the outside. You wouldn't have to mm. make a, a cotton like you do with gel flex. Oh, okay. Do you see what I mean? Yeah. Um, and it's cheaper than gel flex, although you can only use it once. Mm -hmm. um, and if you're making something enormous, you just make a skin of this and back it up with plaster. Oh, okay. yeah? Yeah. To hold it rigid. Mm -hmm. Do you want to have a go now? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
it should take about an hour to set, something like that. And the colder and wetter it is, the quicker it'll set. So if it's a rainy day, just stick it out there. <laughs> right, make sure your hands are really nice and wet and soapy before you touch it. And gather it gently without digging your fingers into the center. You can make this as thick as you like. You just adding so you're happy with it. That's it. <laughs> so if we did both sides, could we mm -hmm. join them together? Yeah, you should be able to. Will it come out? Will it be easier than the slip to get out of that quick deep bit? Yeah, because it's rubbery and yeah. stretchy, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Exactly. So you can use it for a one piece small to swell. You don't have to make several pieces. Because you can stretch it and pull it off. Okay. Yeah. You just cut your way in with a knife. Mm.